Welcome back to another video. I'm hyped for this video. Why? Because my favorite card in history, Electromite, my baby, you're coming back to me, to daddy. So stay tuned for the whole video. We're going to showcase everything and what I truly think will happen to Electrum, to Maxi, to Mystic Mind, to VFD. And so stay tuned for all of that. I'll be discussing a lot. So before we get into this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, baby. We're almost at 42,000 subscribers. And when we hit 42,000 subscribers, woohoo! You guys are in for some amazing content, baby. So smash the subscribe button, smash the like button as well. If we hit 1,000 likes in today's video, I'll be showcasing what will happen when Electromite comes back. Pendulums with Electrum, deck list, and everything. So smash the like button. So let's get started, boys. It's time! It's time to show you guys what the ban list will look like in about two weeks. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> It's ban list time, baby. So we're going to go straight into this video and discuss which one of these 50 I think are coming off this list. We're going to go one by one here, all right? As you guys see, we have 50 Yu-Gi-Oh cards to choose from. I'm going to start with the very best card in the game, banned or unbanned. That is none other than my daughter herself, Heavy Metal Foes Electromite, which I will now be putting at Limited. Why is it coming back? Because it will come back. Because the pen god says so. It's coming back. Mark my words, boys. Electra will come back. This is the most... Uh, it just has to. Why would Konami release Doremi Chords? A deck that has level 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 9s. But no tuners? They need a link. They need a good link monster. It's Electromite. It's coming back. If Electromite comes back... My bad. When Electromite comes back, I will shave my pen beard and then eat it. Let's move on now. We're gonna go one by one with all of these. So next is Guard Dragon LP. But in this list, I don't think it's gonna be touched. Uh, we're gonna go on to the card that's fucking guaranteed getting banned. That is VFD. Get out of my face. This card's getting banned for a fact. Next, Firewall. I don't mean the original Firewall. I mean the Arata Firewall, which sucks. That could come back to three if, I, if you wanted to. Let's put it back to one. It's fine at one. But the Arata, the the old firewall, will never see the light of day in Yu-Gi-Oh again. The Arata is fine. Next, Scarlet. So, here's the thing with Scarlet, guys. Scarlet, if Scarlet Sanguine gets hit, that will be very bad for Eldritch. They could still find ways to, to put cards on board and to put Golden Lord on board, but it's too slow with Black Awakening. So, I think this is going to stay the same. The card that I think is going to get hit will be Cursed Elan, which I see going to 1. Because you can't, like, it's not searchable, so even if it, it's just a consistency card. Every consistency card gets hit. Speaking of consistency cards, Chicken Game. If Chicken Game came back to even 1, Endymion would instantly be so much better. Because you not only draw 1, but you can also send it with Souls. I don't think it's, it's going anywhere, but I do think eventually it will come back. Spell Book of Judgment, baby! Speaking of Endymion... How about the Spellbook of Endymion? This will come back soon. Unfortunately, not in a week. Mirage Stalio, everyone's favorite good boy, not coming back. I think it could come back. You're telling me a Soul Day is legal and Stalio, which he's only playing in this deck, is not? That's pretty weird. I think uh, it's going to stay the same band, but I think it'd come back. Masterpiece. Masterpiece is never coming back in Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't even fucking think about that, bro. Dragoon. So this is a question that a lot of noobs have to deal with. How do you deal with Dragoon? And that's kind of ironic to say because I just got my ass whooped by Dragoon in the last PPG tournament playing Eldritch. That's what I get for not playing Pendulums. If you play an amazing deck like Pendulums, you shit on this card, so you don't care about it. But this is going to stay the same at 3, unless it's going to be a massive list like I told you about LP. Starving Venom! <laughs> Come to Papa! <laughs> You're coming back, baby! Starving Venom is coming back! Starving Venom is coming back! There's no one more FDK with it! It's okay at one! It's at the OCG at one or three! It's coming back! It's coming back! Mark my words! The deadly duo 
of devastation, Electro Might is starving Venom. We'll see the light of day in the TCG in a week. Mark my words, baby. Mark them. Anyways, Zeus. Staying the same. It just came out. But it is broken and should be banned. Zeus is 10 times better than 90% of the cards on the ban list. 99% of the cards in the ban list. You're telling me a card like, like Dark Gruffer is a 1 that is shit. It's a neg 1 and you're going to play our neg 2 over Zeus? Change of heart is ass. This is staying the same, but it could come back unlimited. No one will play change of heart. Still in mind control. People don't even play triple tactics talents right now. So why would you play those? Anyways, this could, is, I don't think change of heart will stay the same, but I could see it limited. I could see it limited, but I think this for this list will be a big ban list, and there will be too much limited cards. So I'm going to keep change of heart and staying the same for now, but this shit could come back to five for all I care. Just negate it with Mighty Master. Redox. So, I think that one of the dragon... One of the, the uh, dragon rules will come back. I really do. I don't think it'll be Redox, but I think one of the dragon... Uh, uh, I think all the dragon rules can come back. I think one will come back, but it's not going to be Redox. <laughs> Astrograph! <laughs> no, I'm sorry, guys. Astrograph cannot be legal while Electromite is legal. It's just impossible. It will be too broken. It's just not allowed. You had Astrograph and Electrum both legal. 99% of the world will be playing Pendulums just how they did when they were both legal back in the day. It's just too much to ask for. With Starving Venom as well, it's too much to ask for. I do think Starving Venom can come back with Electromite. I think they're both fine like that, but I don't think Astrograph can come back with it. Ben 10. I would like to see this card banned. Unfortunately, because of the release of the Drytron XYZ, they're not going to ban this card. So I realistically think it will get limited. Why? Because now they can't loop Ben 10 like 10 times in one turn. You still have a bunch of ways to search the Ben 10, so it's still extremely powerful. But now the only way you can loop it is if you use it once from your hand, and then you Meteon his Drytron to special it out and use it twice. If you use Ben 10 twice in one turn, that's a lot better than using Ben 10 four times in one turn and still having access to another Ben 10 for the next turn. So this at one will hurt the deck a lot, but it would still be searchable every turn. So it won't even do that much damage. But I do think it should go to one. It's still very searchable. Every search searchable card is at one. And this is not once per turn. This shit is guaranteed getting limited. Next, you got Tidal. So... I don't even know if this shit is banned yet or unlimited. I don't even know yet. But I actually think that Tidal will come back to one. I think Tidal will be really cool to play in any single Atlantean Ice Barrier deck. And seeing as they just released the Ice Barrier Structure deck like two days ago, uh, the release of Tidal very shortly would make it a lot better. So I think that they're going to bring this back to one and make the new that deck a little bit more playable. Uh, next, Kieran. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kieran is not coming back. It would just be too broken. If Kieran came back, boys, come on. Like, Electrum sent Kieran. That's just too good. It's just too good. And Babuku Searcher is just too good. Invoker, you know, it's the same premise as Stalio. I don't know why they're banned when you have a Soul Day running rampant and Needle Fiber, but I'm still going to say it's staying the same unless something crazy comes out that you could use with this deck that'll, like, boost a new archetype or something. Then I can see it coming back. Needle Fiber. I mean, <laughs> all the cards that are good with it are all banned. So it sucks now. Unless Oridon is there. I think Oridon can be banned. But then Needle Fiber becomes useless. So I think they could both, they're could both they both going to stay the same. And no one's really... You have to play two bricks to even utilize these. Engage. <laughs> we'll never see the light of day in Yu-Gi-Oh! ever again. This will stay banned forever and forever until the end of time. Mystic Mine. A lot of people complain about this card. I think this could stay the exact same. I don't think it's going to get touched. It could, uh, like, I guess you could move it, but a whole, this whole, like a whole, you build your whole deck around mine. It's kind of like Final Countdown of back in the day. You're going to have, you're going to want to have some trolley deck. Yu-Gi-Oh! is not a game for chads. I'm sorry to inform you guys this. I don't know if it's the first time you, you thought of this, but Yu-Gi-Oh! is typically for, like, trolls. You know, like, there will always be a troll in the, like, tr trolls who want to play a cool, funny deck. I, I played Final Countdown. Final Countdown was the, that was, bro, when I first got into Yu-Gi-Oh, my first deck I ever took to a regional was Final Countdown. 
I thought I was so funny. I thought I was so trolly. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to ruin someone's day. It's not about if you win. It's about who you can make lose. You know, I thought it was so cool. And that's probably a lot of people who are first getting into this game. So they're going to want to play some cool gimmick, like a gimmicky deck, like Mystic Mind. So you got to keep Mystic Mind for those players. And that's fine. You know, I'm actually prepared to take Mystic Mind Burn to a, to a regional myself when it comes back. It's a funny trolley deck. Imagine topping with Mind Burn. Anyways, Union Carrier, uh, this actually has the premise of being banned if you really want to, but I am thinking it's staying the same. Magical Meltdown, this card can easily go to 1. I think this card can very easily go to 1 because it's a searcher. But at this point, you guys already see how many cards we have unlimited and banned. I don't think we could have that many. I think eventually this could go or semi-limit or something, but you don't have too many ways and the engines have been surviving forever. I think Meltdown could very easily be here. Uh, very easily, but I'm gonna put this staying the same for now. Plush fire, I'm sorry, you're <laughs> plush fire and electromite, bro. Are you kidding me? That it will never survive. They survive for three days together, they will never survive together ever again. It's impossible. Next, true king's return. This is at two right now. Why is it just bring it at three? What is true Draco doing without masterpiece? This card could easily go back to three. Next, we got skull Corvette joker. So Here's why I think Skunker Red Joker is going to stay uh, banned. Here's why I think it's going to stay here. It's uh, actually a very simple premise. Uh, when I explain this to you guys, you'll be like, Oh yeah, Triv, you're so right, you're so right. Well, thanks. I'm always, I, I'm always right, to be honest. Most of the time, at least. So, I think it's going to stay banned because the premise of Electric coming back is because Kutea is a one-card Electromite. And you can go into Kutea many ways, actually. Uh, especially if Diviner of the Heralds comes to, to TCG. But then, then uh, this will stop people from playing that new deck that is the whole reason they're going to bring Electrum back. So I don't think Joker's coming back this list. I think in a future list, Joker could easily come back to one. There's so many better searchers than Joker. It just a fucking, like, it's not even a scale, bro. It's not even that good. Like, Blue Boy's probably better. Like, what are you going to search with this, bro? Like, Perform Ball Sorcerer? I mean, I would, but anyways. Ignister. This card is coming back to three. Why the hell is this card at one? Like, bro, what? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Why the fuck's Ignister at one? This card's coming back to three, man. It's like, there's so many cards that are garbage, like Regeki. If Regeki came back, no one would even fucking play it, except for some noobs that played back in the day and saw, oh my god, Regeki, bro, I'll play it. Like, Lightning Storm's at three, evenly matches at three. Like, bro, what? They're all miles better than Regeki. So, how are those cards at 3? Shit, some of those should be limited. And Regeki's at 1. Like, Regeki will go back just to bring back some old players. Into the Void. I think this card can go with the Unlimited. I don't know why they even uh, hit it. But, we're going to put it staying the same for now. It's Day. Warriors suck right now. We'll put that staying the same as well. Monkey Board. <laughs> and Electro. I'm, I'm sorry. That's not coming back. Uh, Nadir Servant. This card's going to 1. Now, Dear Servant is probably the single best spell card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now after Spell Power Mastery. So, why would you want... Like, this card is insane. You guys understand how good Nadir Servant is? I think I see so far, this list is basically a gigantic limiting of a bunch of powerful cards. How are some of these cards still on the list? Nadir Servant is better than every single card here except for the Pendulum cards. It's literally engaged, but probably better. Tempest Magician. <laughs> it cannot survive with Selene. This card cannot be on the same list that Celine is in. In fact, Celine might even go to one if they have Electrum here. But let's just pray that doesn't happen. Trishula. This could easily go unlimited because of the Ice Barrier Structure deck. But I think there'll be too many hand loops with that. So I'm just going to put this at one just in case there's some hand loop shenanigans you could do with making two Trish and then going into the rank nine. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, Alpha Thubin. This could also easily go to limited. But they already have Ben 10, so that's fine. Colossus. Don't even think about it. This card's never seen the light of day again. DeLorean, this card's probably going to come back. DeLorean is like, bro, it's Ice Spirit just came out. Some nubs are going to be like, oh my god, DeLorean at three, bro. And then they're just going to get the deck for fun. So you got to always have something like that. Blaster, I don't think they're going to bring back every Dragon Ruler right now. Eventually, they're definitely all going to be back. But uh, you already put title back. Can't bring them all. Greffer, this card's going to be unlimited. Greffer, bro, what the fuck deck plays Greffer, man? Like, it's literally a neg two. And if you discard a card, it's a neg one. It's actually ass. Like... It's so bad. Even for Orcus, like, bro, it's actually shit. I don't like it at all. Face off, this card's gonna be unlimited. Face off, bro, look. <laughs> Electromite face off, okay? They're both the same card. Like, face off was made to make Electromite. 
Now you could throw in a Draco engine basically anywhere, and with bringing back Ignis, you could do it. But guess what? I will still never fucking play it. Why would you want to play two bricks just for one extender? That's like playing two Gemini Garnets and one Brilliant Fusion. Why on earth would you do that? I don't understand. Like, and if you draw one, it's dead. You'll have to play three three Garnets and three Brilliant Fusion. Imagine literally playing three Gemini Garnet just to resolve a Gemini Garnet, and all it does is this one extender. Curtain Razor does the same thing, except with zero bricks. So this card can easily go unlimited, and no one will play it. Only people that are nostalgic of Pendulums. Next, we got Danglong. Funny enough, if Needle Fiber is banned one day, if it's randomly banned, and they bring back Glow Bulb and all those random cards, Danglong can come back. Danglong can come back if Needle Fiber is banned. If Danglong and Needle Fiber are both alive on a list, that is not okay. This card is going to stay the same. Broad Bull. <laughs> Never. Bye. Miscellaneous. Let's add to the list, boys of extreme limiting this list right here will save this entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! but it's not even as much as i think like i think they should do even more than this i think they should ban half these cards that are legal and probably ban all these cards shit ban electrum too the electrum came back and all these cards got banned you guys see limited pendulum will be the best deck by landslide you gotta at least make it a challenge for us double iris you're un i'm banning too many pendulum cards this is gonna stay the same at one the strudo i think this card could easily come back Easily, easily. I think one day they're gonna randomly just unrelease it, but I'm gonna keep it here just for now. Our poor is not coming back with all this stuff going on with the new Orcus level four. No chance, no chance. Extravagance actually merits the question, but where this is gonna stay the same. And lastly, the age old question bring back Maxi. Well, let me tell you guys something about Maxi it's coming, staying on the fucking list. Are you insane? Maxi is the most unfair card in Yu-Gi-Oh history. If I ever see Maxi come back to Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm playing fucking GOAT format forever, and I'm just broke. No chance. Maxi is not allowed. Anyways, guys, this is the ban list that I think is gonna happen realistic and realistically too. Very realistically. Maybe it's a little bit biased towards pendulums, so I could at the very least see maybe putting Starving Venom off and maybe a face-off off, but this is a more likely realistic scenario of a ban list you get everything gets hit a little bit it makes the decks more fun and then it'll make the five new decks that are coming out in the next two months you have two new decks in ghost from the past and you have three new decks in ancient guardians so these five new decks that are getting released with this ban list is going to get a big buff just because all these cards just got hit so hence pushing further new product for konami and making the best deck even better in pendulums i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 42,000 subscribers. When we hit 42,000 subscribers, we're going to get some amazing, amazing, even more amazing content than now. So smash the subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to see some sick extra trip gaming videos, check out my Patreon down below. And you check out the link down below for the cool app. And lastly, guys, we can't forget, if Electromite comes back, we got to get, you know, no, no, you know, you know, the trip, total Electromite map, baby. So get your map down in the description. And do the sick music, boys. It's time. To see you guys it's time Bo boys 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 it's time for you guys to buy your electromites all right because that shit's coming back we'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>